am sharing with you a bunch of epic DIYs and life hacks which are perfect for the summer but also all year around. How do you like my new hairstyle? I think it's pretty awesome. But since summer is just around the corner, I decided to share with you a bunch of super cool summer DIYs. But honestly, these ideas are so amazing that you can totally make them all year around. So make sure you subscribe to my channel because you don't want to miss epicness like this. And let's get started. There's no real garden summer party without the pretty floating balloons, right? Did you know that we can actually make them at home using only a few household items? That's right, home DIY helium balloons without helium. However, these balloons are highly flammable, so you shouldn't try to make them alone. You can ask your parents to help you or just have fun watching me do the dangerous stuff. We need a glass bottle, drain cleaner containing sodium hydroxide, a balloon and a piece of aluminum foil. Take a bottle and then pour in about a deciliter of drain cleaner solution. Now take small pieces of aluminum foil, scrunch them and make little balls like this. The more aluminum balls we use in the experiment, the larger reaction will be and the bigger our balloon will get. That's enough for me, so let's pop these little balls in the bottle. The reaction occurs about 10 seconds after the aluminum mixes with drain cleaner. And this gives us time to attach the balloon over the bottle opening before the crazy reaction happens. Now check out this magic. As you can see, our balloon starts inflating by itself. So what's the science behind this? Drain cleaner solution contains substance called sodium hydroxide. When sodium hydroxide reacts with aluminum, hydrogen gas is formed. Hydrogen gas accumulates in the balloon and inflates it. Look at the close-up of this reaction, it's so fascinating! It looks like sodium hydroxide is completely dissolving the aluminum balls. Both helium and hydrogen have lower densities than air, making them float. If you don't hold your helium or hydrogen balloon tight enough, it escapes up in the sky. That's why we have to tie our balloon with a ribbon or a string. Make two tight knots which will also prevent hydrogen from escaping out of the balloon. Release your balloon from the bottle and check out how nicely it floats in the air. Exactly like a helium balloon. Can you believe this? We made amazing floating balloons using drain cleaner and aluminum foil. You really can't get more epic than that, right? However, hydrogen gas is extremely flammable. That's why you should not try this yourself. At least not without adult supervision. A flame, spark or even hot object getting near the balloon can cause an explosion. See? Pretty scary. This is why party balloons are always filled with helium, not hydrogen. Still, this DIY experiment is one of the best I've ever seen so I wanted to share it with you. Now let's continue with a bunch of completely safe but still amazing DIYs that you need to try this summer. Wanna have these amazing colorful sunglasses too? Well guess what, you can DIY them in less than a minute. Yep, you heard me right. These glasses are so funky and bright, my favorite pair for sure. All you need to make them are some inexpensive sunglasses and nail polish. First you wanna pop the lenses out of the glasses frame. You're left with cute nerdy glasses, but that's not the look we're going for. Pour some water into a bowl. Take the first nail polish color, I went for dark blue and pour some of it into the water. As you can see, the nail polish spreads and floats on the water surface. Add more colors, making random, swirly lines. I also picked pink, white, orange and yellow colors for my sunglasses. Take the frames and dip one side into the marbly water. Pull them out and we're ready to color the other side. Repeat the process and quickly dip the other side of the glasses into the water. The polish color will stick to the frame making a beautiful marbly design on your sunnies. Lastly we need to color the front of the glasses so dip them in the water with the front frame facing down. Pull them out and wait for the polish to dry completely. My sunnies are all dry so let's take a hairspray and spray them lightly all over. This will protect the color and make sure that our new sunglasses will last us many years. All we gotta do now is take the lenses and pop them back on the frame. There we have them, the most gorgeous sunglasses I've ever seen. These were seriously so much fun to make and turned out epic. I love how you can buy a cheap pair of sunglasses and make them look so beautiful only using nail polish. I seriously can't wait to make more using different colors. And this DIY really got me hooked. With all the bright and happy colors, these sunnies are perfect for the warm summer days, although not gonna lie, I'll probably wear them loads all year around. They're just too pretty not to. 
Whether you already have a pet or not, this gorgeous aquarium will give so much life and coziness to your room. It is hands down my favorite room decor piece. It gives such a nice pop of color and it's super easy to DIY. To make it, you will need an artificial plant, a big jar, blue food coloring, some plastic fishes and colorful decoration stones. Take the jar, unscrew the lid and pop in your colored stones. You can buy them in a store or just go out and pick them up in the nature. We gotta give some greenery to the fishes, so take a glue gun and squeeze a small amount of hot glue on a parchment paper. Cut a little twig from the artificial plant and stick it in the glue while it's still hot. Hold it there for a minute or until the glue hardens and the plant will stand up straight. Make your sea plant as full as you like by adding more twigs. This one looks perfect for me so it's time to put it into the aquarium. The home for our fishes already looks so pretty. But there's one essential thing missing. Water. Grab blue food coloring and squeeze a drop into the water. You want the water to have a slight tint of blue, otherwise it can be too overwhelming and everything in the aquarium will look blue. We got a nice blue tint but the stones and plant retain the pretty vibe vibrant colors. Time to give some life to the aquarium. First up is a little starfish which sinks to the bottom of the sea. This already looks so stunning, but there's something missing. Hmm, what would that be? The fishes, of course. Take a piece of transparent thread and tie it around your fishes, seahorses, any sea animals that you like. Besides the yellow seahorse, I also decided to add a pretty red coral fish. Stick these two bodies on the inner side of the jar lid with a piece of tape. I can tell how happy these sea cuties are to get home to their coral reef. Put the lid on the jar and our beautiful aquarium is all done. What a stunning room decoration, right? It's perfect for summer, but honestly this one has a permanent spot granted in my room for for sure. I'm definitely gonna keep it all year around. Next time you're at the seaside vacation, instead of buying souvenirs, pick some stones, seashells and sand from the beach. Back home you can put them in an aquarium like this. This way your aquarium will be much more meaningful and every time you look at it, you'll be reminded of the happy summer days. Why settle for a plain and boring chapstick when we can have this awesome watermelon tinted lip balm inspired by Ira Tran? There are a few things that scream summer to me more than a watermelon. And you guys know that I'm addicted to lip balm. I gotta have it with me wherever I go. Let's combine my obsession with watermelon and my addiction to lip balm and make this amazing watermelon EOS. Take a lid of an EOS plus a black non-toxic crayon and an X-Acto knife. Carefully cut small chunks of crayon and place them into the lid. These black pieces will represent the seeds. That's enough seeds for me, so let's follow the ducks and cook up our tinted lip balm. Set up a double boiler and have three small pots ready. Put one teaspoon of coconut oil in one of the containers. In the other two you can put a smaller amount, about half a teaspoon of coconut oil. To color up my lip balm mixtures, I'll be using non-toxic crayons. Since we're making a watermelon, we need red, white and green colors. You can also give them a little stir to help mixing the two ingredients into a smooth mixture. Mine are completely melted, so it's time to put together the watermelon lip balm. First take the red mixture and pour it into the lid. Leave the red color to slightly harden. Now let's proceed with white. As you can see my red mixture didn't cool down completely so it created a marbly design when mixed with white. Take a little plastic wheel that you find in the middle of every EOS container and screw it on the watermelon lid. Grab the green lip balm mixture and pour it on top. Leave it to cool down completely. To speed up the process you can pop your watermelon lip balm in the fridge or the freezer. When it's all set take the bottom part of the EOS, pop it on and we're finally ready to check how this watermelon tinted lip balm turned out. If that's not the most epic lip balm you've ever seen then I don't no. Make sure to use non-toxic crayons for this DIY. If you don't have them, you can color your lip balm using lipstick shavings, pigment or food coloring. You know I'm not a fan of plain lip balms, so this watermelon one makes me so happy. It makes your lips super soft, gives them a pretty red tint and looks like a delicious watermelon. <laughs> what more could you ask from a lip balm? For the next epic DIY, we need a bunch of cork stoppers. Wondering why? Well, that's because we're gonna make super cool sailboats using three objects that you already have at home. They're so much fun to play with, or you can have them as pretty summer decoration in your room. You'll need a piece of paper, a toothpick, and some cork stoppers. To make the hull of our sailing boat, I'm gonna stick nine corks together. Grab a glue gun and stick three corks on top of each other to get sort of a cork tower. Wait till the glue sets and it's time to build the cork tower number 2. As said, I'm using 9 corks for my boat. But if you want to make a smaller boat or have larger cork stoppers, 3 or 4 may be enough. To finish up the body of our ship, we need to glue the 3 cork sticks together. Apply a long stripe of glue and press together the first 2 cork sticks. Do the same with the third one and the body of our boat is ready. But since we're making a sailboat, we also need a sail. Take a piece of cardboard paper and cut out a triangle shape with scissors. Then grab a hole puncher and make two little holes on two of the triangle corners. 
take a toothpick, slide it through the holes and the sail for our boat is finished. All that's left to do is to stick it in the middle of the boat's body and our sailboat is ready to sail the seas of the world. No, but seriously, this sailboat is so exciting and fun to play with. I also made some colorful boats by spray painting the body. They turned out so cute. Of course I got obsessed and had to make them in pink, yellow and green. I always want to try out all the colors. Have these cool sailboats as gorgeous room decorations or have fun playing in the water. You can even make them with friends, put them in a river and see whose boat is fastest and wins the race. With these sailboats your summer days will never get boring, guaranteed. If you have a problem keeping your room tidy, this life hack will help you out for sure. We'll make an awesome sunglasses display in just a few seconds. Take a clothes hanger. I decided to go for the pink one because what else, right? Here you can stack all your favorite sunglasses. Take the glasses and hang them on. To make your hanger even cuter, you can decorate it with ribbon, pom-poms or stickers. I decided to add this fluffy pom-pom. Now that's what we're talking about. Hang it on the wall and voila, your favorite sunglasses are always on hand and neatly organized. This honestly looks so pretty, a storage idea and a gorgeous room decor piece in one. Who remembers my candy glasses from the Halloween video? Yep, they're one of my faves. I'm super happy with how this glasses organizer turned out and most importantly, I'm glad that from now on, I'll always know where my sunnies are. There's no real summer without beautiful summer clothes in our closet, right? I'll show you how to recycle an old pair of jeans using bleach. That's right, you can write, draw and make gorgeous colorful designs using bleach. You'll need an old dark pair of jeans, bleach, water, cornstarch, bright colored fabric markers and scissors. Unfold your jeans and cut them into shorts. You can make yours as long or as short as you like. I'm cutting mine quite low as I want to make cuffed shorts, so I need a couple of inches of extra fabric. When both sides are cut, roll the edges up two or three times. There we go, brand new shorts out of jeans in less than a minute. But we need to make them way cuter, so it's time to decorate with bleach. Let's prepare some bleach gel. Make a double boiler by pouring some water into the pan and place in a smaller heatproof pot. Pour in half a cup of water and add a tablespoon of cornstarch. Mix well to combine the ingredients. Keep stirring and after a minute or two the mixture will start to thicken up. When you get the gel-like consistency, remove it from the heat and add about 2 tablespoons of bleach. Mix well to combine and pour your bleach gel into a squeeze tube or a plastic bag. Make a knot or secure it with an elastic like me and snip away the corner. The DIY bleach gel pen is ready, so let's decorate our shorts. I decided to draw pretty hearts all over mine. Drawing with bleach gel is super easy, just squeeze the plastic back slightly to release some gel. When you're happy with your design, wait for the bleach to set. This takes about an hour, but the longer you wait, the whiter your fabric will get. Take a piece of cardboard paper and scoop the bleach off to reveal the beautiful white hearts underneath. These shorts already look stunning, but we're gonna make them even more gorgeous by adding some color. Grab a bunch of fabric markers. I'm going for the yellow, pink plus orange one and I decided to color the first heart in yellow. All we gotta do now is color the hearts just like you do in the coloring books. The best part is that fabric markers are only visible on light fabrics. Therefore you don't have to be too neat and precise because the color won't show up if you color outside the heart lines. Turn your shorts around and color the hearts on the back as well. How flipping cute are these colorful heart shorts, right? I love the bleed gel technique as it allows you to upcycle old shirts and pants into completely new and unique pieces. Have fun drawing or writing on your clothes and be creative with your designs. I think it's so difficult to find cute and unique clothes like this in stores. But that's not a problem for us because we can simply DIY them. We're not completely summer ready without beautiful summer nails, right? I'll show you how to make this stunning beach nail art inspired by Janelle. And don't worry, it is so easy to make. You should give it a go even if you've never tried nail art before. Start by painting all your nails in white. I like to apply two coats for a fully opaque result. White nails already look super summery to me, but we will make them way more epic. A pure summer vacation on the nails. Grab a sand colored nail polish and apply it on the ring finger and the thumb. It will represent a sandy beach, so any kind of beige nail polish will work. To make our tropical beach or pretty and sparkly, we have to apply a layer of golden glitter polish on top. One or two layers are more than enough, since we still want lots of that sand color to show up. On the remaining three fingers, we're creating the moment when beautiful turquoise waves hit the shore. Grab a sponge and apply a stripe of beige polish, followed by light blue stripe and lastly a medium blue nail polish. Quickly dab the sponge on the nail to create a beautiful beachy gradient. You can repeat the step to make the colors more vibrant and opaque. I love how mine turned out so it's time for a cleanup. Soak a q-tip in acetone and clean the skin around the nail. Apply a small amount of gold glitter polish on the top part of the nail where we have the sand. 
To create the white foam which forms when waves crash on the beach, we'll be using water spotted technique. Fill a glass with room temperature water. Take a white nail polish and drip one to two drops in the glass. The polish should spread on the water surface like that. Quickly grab a hairspray and spray on the water surface. The alcohol in the spray breaks up the polish layer and creates a spotty design. Dip your finger into the area you like best. Grab a toothpick and clean the remaining nail polish from the water surface. Pull the finger out of the water and reveal these cool beach waves inspired design. Since we don't want to have this sea foam all over the finger, clean it up with a Q-tip soaked in acetone. Time to repeat the water spotted technique on the other two nails as well. Instead of a hairspray, you can also use body mist, perfume or any other product which contains alcohol. As you can see, this nail art is so easy to make. There's no freehand drawing, dotting or anything like that. Lastly, we need to apply a layer of fast drying top coat to seal the design and protect the polish from chipping. These nails turned out absolutely amazing. A perfect summer manicure for sure. I love how fun they were to make with the sponge gradient and water spotted marbling. Looking at this, I really wish I'd be on a tropical sunny beach right now. But oh well, having this paradise on my nails will have to do it for now. Anyway, I'll probably wear this design all summer long. New obsession on the rise? Yep, I'm pretty sure about that. You don't have to travel to exotic places to make your summer amazing. Be creative, try out new things, and every day will become an exciting adventure. Now you guys are all ready for summer, but I know that some of you are actually going towards winter, so I really want to know where do you guys live? Let me know in the comments in which country you are right now. It would be so amazing to see where all the artists are located. Okay, thank you so much for watching guys, don't forget to thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you soon, bye! Mwah. Whether you spend your summer on a tropical sandy beach or at home, remember that 10 lines will fade, but the memories will last forever. Wish you all a unforgettable summer!